Hello, riders or not? Today on the vlog from Lithuania is Java. Believe you or not, this is 2021 model. I borrowed this and Tarak model from Java Lithuania. Thank you so much for this unique opportunity and my dream coming true to ride Yavas in my country with my dad. This was the first time we were riding together. But that is in upcoming episodes, whereas today I would like to tell you more about Yava. Cycles was founded in 1929 in Prague, back then Czechoslovakia, now Czech Republic. A first 500cc model with 12 kilowatts of power, only 18 horsepower, consumed 6 liters per 100 kilometers. It was a highly priced model but still successful and was considered reliable. On demand of more affordable motorcycles in 1932, Java 175 with 3.6 kilowatts power was introduced. 70 kilograms weight, capable to do 80 kilometers per hour. 3,000 new models were sold in the first year. Over the years, 27,000 Java 175 were built. In 1950s, a powerful Yava 250 and 350 with a compact two-stroke engine, rear suspension and other innovations was exported to more than 120 countries. Ten years later, Yava invented the centrifugal clutch for 250 and 559, also as 350 and 360 models. In 1964, Yava made a millionth motorcycle. Also in 1960s, Indian motorcycle companies started producing licensed Yava motorcycles. This company stopped producing in 1996. In 1916, a new Indian manufacturer signed a licensing deal to launch Yava brand name and in 2018 launched the motorcycles in India. Yava 300 that you see in this vlog, 42, and Perak model that I will review in the next episode. Indian consumers' interest in new machines exceeded all expectation. Yava sold 50,000 bikes in 12 months. How lucky we are 
to have this comparison of the old and the new model. And for that, I'm very thankful for Jonas from Ukmerge, the owner and restorer of this classic model. Hello. Hello. So, Jonas, are you much more than you are? Jonas said he rides his Java 350 mostly to the events and sometimes just for pleasure. It's the only bike he has at the moment and chose it because of the nostalgia to Java he grew up riding. Unfortunately, his old Java was stolen. Jonas also rode a new 2021 model and he said it's a lot more comfortable, has a wider bars, easier to maneuver, and it's a lot harder to ride an old one. But nostalgia and memories plays the important role of his choice. The engine of the old Java is too strong and needs an oil added to the petrol. That Jonas carries in the luggage box. That box is not from original model, also as well and mirrors. Jonas said, his restored Java is not a show bike, it's rebuilt it to be ridden, and he did 6,000 kilometers on her. The longest day trip Jonas did a few times is to the Thanian seaside, around 300 kilometers one way. The fastest he pushes his old girl is when overtaking, around 100 kilometers per hour. Normally he rides 80 kilometers per hour speed. Jonas' classic Java is more speed, one up and three down. And he says you can kickstart it even with a hand. Jonas said back in the days it was the best bike available in Lithuania. like my childhood. Java 300 has a water-cooled four-stroke one-cylinder 295cc engine. It has electric starter, six gears, 17 kilowatts maximum power and 25 newton meters of torque. 2022 model complies with Euro 5 emissions limits, 
The one I wrote complies with Euro 4. As you can see, the same as the old model, Java has a central stand, which is very useful during the vlogs. The side stand, the same as on Parak model, automatically lifts up as soon as you start moving the bike, which takes some time to get used to. And at the beginning, I had to jump off the bike to put the side stand down. Then eventually I kind of got used to it. I'm very sad, I need to give them back. There is probably no more eye-catching bike that you can ride in Lithuania. Every single time I parked somewhere or stopped somewhere, I had people coming and asking me about where is it? It looks like old, but it's different. Is it that new model made in India? Yes, it is. That is how light it is and makes me feel very confident and very comfortable. When first time I took it for a ride, as every single bike, I took it easy. This particular model don't like low revs. It likes to be revved up. Otherwise, it starts twitching and might even stop. But it's not as bad as it might sound. It's still very easy to ride. Honestly, I had so much joy that I didn't expect it to have on a bike like this. Bike doesn't feel plastic, it feels very firm. It's like a mini version of Triumph. It's like something between Vespa and Triumph. Like something between a scooter and motorcycle, but at the same time doesn't feel plasticky and doesn't feel cheap. Whereas the price of it here in Lithuania is 6,200 euros, which will be around 5,000 something pounds. I am one meter 75 centimeters tall. And as you can see, I can put both my feet firmly on the ground, which makes me confident even on the gravel here in Lithuania. For example, on my Harley, which is a lot heavier, even after doing so many miles, when I hit the roads, where is the pothole on pothole, and then a little bit of a gravel, I wasn't very comfortable. Whereas on this bike, because of its light weight and the size, I feel great. It's probably not much fun to ride a bike like this on the motorway, but to me, it's not much fun to ride any bike on the motorway. For me, a motorcycle is to enjoy to go A roads, B roads and small roads and have fun. And this bike is definitely fun. I swear, I'm not saying this because I am Lithuanian and I feel nostalgic. I've never ridden an old Java. All I can say, I loved it. If I would live in Lithuania, I would probably dream to have a bike like this. Maybe because I don't feel nostalgic about this classic look, I would go for Perak model, which will be in the next episode, because it's black and more like a boba. Still, it's a lovely bike to ride. And if you have opportunity, you definitely should try it. If you will come to Lithuania, in the capital Vilnius, you can rent this and Perak models at Java Lithuania and have a full Lithuanian experience. Trust me, you'll get lots of attention.